Hey guys, Redbird here. Gonna do a head shave of the day. It's, I don't know what time it is, 2.30 or something before the Super Bowl. Um, thought I'd get this done. Um, get some luck in there. Here's the thing about the Super Bowl this year. Nobody wants the Seahawks to win because they're tired of the cockiness that comes across from half the team. I get it. I don't like the Seahawks either. Nobody likes the Patriots because Tom Brady's a major tool and nobody wants to see him win because he's big. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of going to be a poor Super Bowl this year. I think that's what everyone is thinking is going to happen. That's what everyone knows is going to happen. So it's kind of sad. But look at the lather for my pre-shave. What I need to do with this pre-shave is it, it was made as a shaving cream, but I couldn't get a good lather with it. Um, what I need to do is now try to lather it up since I kind of know what I'm doing. Oh, today's cream. I just saw Peter Charcalis' uh, video where he had the goatee. Awesome, awesome goatee. Gray hairs, and speaking of gray hairs, you can't really see, but I got four gray hairs right there in my beard. Um, Not too happy about that. But what are you gonna do, right? So anyway, back to the Super Bowl. I think that's what I was talking about. Oh no, my cream. And now that I know how to lather it, now that I know how to build a better lather, I think I'm gonna try uh, lathering it up, maybe give it, a, do that in a couple days. Uh, since I ordered the Poisson, those of you guys that are new to the Poisson, I, you got to learn how to use this bu this brush. I, I didn't know how to use it before. Um, but I just figured it would hold water like my boar brush or the, the badger that I have. And it doesn't. I'm having to add more water to my creams than I'm used to because the brush just doesn't hold it. It's a learning experience. So you guys that get Poissons, try them out. Find one of your creams. It's your test lather cream. Um, and find out how to, how to build a lather with it. Listen. Oh, I hear my baby red beard down, singing downstairs. Anyway, Try it out. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, there we go. Kind of getting, getting the hang of this brush, but not, I don't want to say I don't like it, but it's just different. So I think what I'm going to do in an upcoming video is a brush off between this and my badger brush, just to see which one I personally like better. Uh, kind of get, got to give the Poisson a, a chance, but if I don't like it, it may be going away. I like it, don't get me wrong, the Poisson is, this is an amazing brush. Um, But that's why I gotta give it a give it a trial to see if I like my other one better. And uh, you know, we'll see. I got a sink full of water. I'm trying that as far as rinsing out Phoenix, um, rinsing out my brush and keeping it clean. Better. I'm gonna do it against the grain and then a touch up, just two pass today. So. Anyway, that's just 
Gonna be a quick shave. I mean, Super Bowl, so we gotta get out um, and party. Those of you that are learning that don't know about the Phoenix, this is this is normal, and this is awesome. I like it. Con did a video. Yeah, I see that's just clean. Con did a video about the tracks that it leaves and having to go over it a few times <clears throat> to get to get all the cream off and that's where you get such a good close shave oh i forgot to tell you the uh the blade is a gillette seven o'clock super stainless it's the one that's in the green green packaging <clears throat> excuse me anyway this phoenix those of you guys that don't that do shave your heads, that are wondering about it, I would suggest getting this, um, giving it a try. It's only, what, 35, 40 bucks? I can't, I can't remember, 30, 35 bucks. Um, but I like it. Um, and there's, there's other people that like it and want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, if you can get it, try it out, and you don't like it, you can easily sell it or give it away. Um, if that's what you're into and that's what you want to do, help people out one way or another. But it's an amazing razor. I like it. I'm, I'm glad I got this. Got this from a fellow head shaver who wanted something a bit more aggressive. Um, to me, for how new I am, this razor is aggressive to me, for me. Um, I'm new. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to, to de shaving and all that anyway. So um, things are going to be more aggressive to me. I think then um, to other people, which is fine. I'm assuming that's normal, but um, yeah. So it's a great fit. It's it's my more aggressive razor, one of my more aggressive razors. So um, my last video, not my last video, maybe two videos ago. I did a shave and I used a Simpsons pre-shave oil. Simpson pre-shave oil. Um, gonna kind of do a little talking about that while I'm shaving. I liked the oil a lot. It um, gave me a really good selectness that I don't get, that I didn't get um, with any other pre-shave stuff um, but here's my problem guys and girls I rinsed off in my sink and when when all the water drained out around the edge of the sink was just this oily line of hair and um, I couldn't For the life of me, I could not get that ring off. I scrubbed and with my hand, I just turned the hot water on and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. Um, I finally ended up getting like a sponge and like cleaning my sink, which is fine, but I think it was just the oil, um, oil and water. Obviously they don't mix and it didn't, the water wouldn't just wash it off. It was just a pain. So <clears throat> the oil was great. It worked good. Cleanup was not what I wanted. So just because of that, I'm not going to hang on to it. I may give it away. I, I don't know yet, but, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep that pre-shave oil 
And I don't know if it's just that oil, if it's all oils, that's the only pre-shave oil that I've tried. Um, but that just, that turned me off from that particular pre-shave oil. Great, great slickness, great uh, protection is the, what is the word I'm thinking of between the blade and my head and the, the soap. I mean, it just worked out well, but um, yeah, that, that kind of bothered me. So, oh, I forgot I'm going to stand back. Sorry guys. I'm working on this. I'm trying. I was, uh, talking to Greg Schwartz about my head shaves. And he's saying, and you can tell, and I can see, um, no pressure. And I, that's what I'm working on. No pressure when I'm shaving. Problem is I have, um, this, not a syndrome, but disease. Uh, I don't know what you call it. A disease, I guess, where, um, I'm fat. So even my head is like, my head's fat, I'm fat. So um, I try not to put any pressure, but even when the razor glides along my um, fat head, it, it presses in. Like that was a good one, but then it just bounces over, you can see. But to get any type of shave, there's gonna be a little pressure. I mean, none of you guys would would have to deal with this, but I do on a daily basis, um, the whole fat thing. Uh, and it's not bad. I might have gotten myself right there. Mm -hmm. But it's just, it's kind of a pain. So, um, I'm trying not to press down. It's harder on my neck. You saw my neck shave of the day, and I, I think I did a pretty good job. But um, the head, it's just hard. Holding on to the razor, the angle, all that. So, anyway. That's that. Uh, this morning, um, I watched Kojak Kamaj's video and I made a post on this on Shave the Man, but his intro, what, how is it? Kicking, kicking and shaving with Kojak Kamaj. Oh, that's freaking, that's gold right there. It's the most amazing flowing, um, Intro, I think I've ever heard. Next to mine. It's awesome. If you guys haven't seen his videos, check him out. He's a good dude. Good to watch. And uh, you can tell he's generally just a good person. He's posting a head shave video tonight, which was last night. If you're watching this, because I post my videos the next day. So, um, I'm excited to see his head shave, but he's using a mongoose for his head shave, which is just going to be cool to watch, but anyway, that guy's a good guy. So if you haven't seen his videos, check them out. Subscribe to him for sure. <clears throat> Seems like a good dude. So anyway, that's my shave. It's not perfect. I mean, I, I was kind of just going through this quick, but the Tom's, I didn't like it at first when I first used it. The smell is just so mild and plain that it's hard to say it's just so plain. 
it's hard to say that I don't like it because I like it's sometimes you want a really strong smell like a strong smell so you go for a for Chicago strong smell sometimes you don't want to smell you want to just smell like what you're gonna put on after so then you use something like this. That's what I would suggest. People like Tobbs. This is the only Tobbs I've used. Um, and, and I like it. Um, but yeah, this, and I don't know what it's called. Is it just, it's Tobbs, obviously. But is the brand, is the name just Mr. Taylor? Somebody help me out here. The box came in is just this box so I've been calling it Mr. Taylor's um, but if yeah, somebody could let me know that'd be cool um, good shave the Phoenix you guys that haven't used it um, I got irritation on my neck I'm not gonna use it for my neck just gonna use it for my head shaves but it gives me such a clean clean shave Old Spice I mean that's just I gotta get some more aftershaves to try out, but that's just my go-to. Um, the Brush of the Gods, TSE did a video. Apparently it's not really the Brush of the Gods. It's, that's just a phrase. And that, I don't know how I feel about that because I really believed that the gods used that brush and now I just don't know. So I don't know what to believe anymore. The first, the guy shaves with a blade. Then he, then somebody says he doesn't. So he says he does. Then the brush, it's called the brush of the gods. But then he said it wasn't really used by the gods. I, I don't know what to believe. I'm going to have to unsubscribe to TSE and just continue watching Retro Man 69 because Retro Man 69 tells the truth. But TSE, breaking my heart, I probably won't unsubscribe to him because the guy's a stud, but still. Okay, I'm talking. Enjoy the Super Bowl, or I hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl, and I hope you didn't have to see the Seahawks win. And I hope you didn't have to see Tom Brady win. What if it's a 0-0 game? Oh, I hope so. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and take care.